What was going on in here? What did it look like? It looked like my son was about to perform an indecent act under duress. Well, that's exactly what I was gonna do. Son, listen to me. If you're into that, that's fine with me. The important words here are under duress. What were you doing? Does that break your heart, Jim? That I was gonna do it? No, it does not break my heart, son. Are you into that? Uh, why were you doing what you were doing under duress? If you're not into that, why would you do it? Because I'm a drug addict. Don't you know that? That's what breaks my heart, son. I want to help you, Wyatt. I want to do everything that I can for you, but I can't if you won't let me. Are you telling me that you were willing to perform oral sex on that officer for drugs? I was willing to do whatever it took. And I'm still willing to do whatever it takes. You shouldn't have taken my money and you shouldn't have washed my cocaine down the sink. So we're clear, all of this is my fault. Yeah. I'm to blame for your problems. You're to blame for my problems. Oh, my God. Son, I took that money so that you would stop hurting yourself. Do you not see that? Do you not see that it all started happening when you took it? I wouldn't have been in this position had you not. It's like the children being the parents. You know, or the child, because, uh, you know, Amanda's not here anymore. So what you feel now, that's what I feel. And now, yeah, here, I'm on my knees trying to get a fix. You didn't have to do that, Wyatt. We have a plan. I have your back. We have a plan. Next time, let me know what the plan is, but he had it in his pocket. He offered it to me, and I need it. Now, you tell me the truth. Did that officer have heroin in his pocket and he was going to trade it for sex? Yes, idiot. That's all I needed to know. <laughs>